focuses on a group of bickering suburbanites who find themselves stuck together when an android uprising causes their well-intentioned household robots to lock them in for their own safety. This is written and directed by Jean-Pierre Junet, the French director behind the beloved Amelie, the romantic drama A Very Long Engagement, as well as the cult film Delicatessen, though if you aren't familiar with any of those, you may know him better as the guy behind Alien Resurrection. But this is his first film in nearly a decade, and it's an unfortunate reason why. As he said some time ago, he's had a hard time getting financing for his films, with Netflix essentially being the only studio willing to do so at this point. There's generally a quirkiness to most of Junet's films, and this one's no different, feeling like something that could have only come from him with the setting being a vibrant, colorful alternate future that features androids who attempt to replicate human emotions, including at least one implied to being a sexual partner for one of the humans. And it focuses on a group of characters, all interconnected in some way, which includes an ex-married couple, their new significant others, their children, and one of the neighbors. And because of the nature of these relationships, it's clear there's tensions among most of them from even before they're locked in, which are only made worse as the film goes on, despite the best intentions of the household robots. There's a screwball comedy vibe to the film, with a skit-like structure that made it so if you rearrange certain scenes, it wouldn't have had that much of an effect on the story overall. It repeatedly fades in and out at various points as everyone's locked up and forced to confront old wounds. There's a clear selfishness to most of these characters, which does make it hard to root for a number of them, though the energy's channeled into a lot of quirky bickering, along with highlighting any sort of weird hangups they may have as humorous bits. Though I'd say the film was at its most compelling when it focused on the androids talking among themselves, which includes one that looks like a 1950s sitcom housewife, a small robot that looks like a toy, a talking Einstein head, among others. Their major play is that they want to be viewed with the same amount of compassion humans have for one another, and they seek validation through what they view as protecting everyone via lockdown. While they're not always the primary focus, Shunei uses their arcs to try highlighting what it means to be human, which is something we've seen before in several other sci-fi films that have AI as central characters. I just say that while the themes shine through enough, and the film was pretty funny at points, I still didn't quite love this, as I felt some of the redemption these human characters went through didn't feel earned, as a lot of them retain the same unlikable though humorous characteristics through much of the film, only to have a change of heart at the last second due to a somewhat abrupt third act. On top of that, the skit-like nature does lead to some solid moments, but with this being shot at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's clear there were limitations as far as what could be done, and that's especially a shame considering we had a quirky, unique little world to play around with, but it kept things mostly confined to the house. Our only other major exploration of this world were cutaways to TV programs, including most notably, frequent cuts to a popular game show that shows humans humiliating themselves for money. And I wish we got to explore this setting more, especially given this was nearly two hours, which I don't think was justified to be set in the house for as long as it was. But still, despite not living up to its potential, Big Bug is a welcome return for Jean-Pierre Jeunet. It's a strange, quirky film that might not have the easiest characters to root for, but it uses its setting to explore themes of what it means to be human, sometimes in pretty funny ways. If you like stranger comedies, or if you're a fan of this director, I'd say you can't go wrong with it, even if it isn't great. Big Bug gets a 6.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Big Bug or are you planning to see it? And what were your thoughts? Did you find it to be funny? Do you want to see more from Jean-Pierre Jeunet? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.